Hello! So, uh, I've never made a video like this really, but I didn't find any videos on this, so I figured I might as well make one. So, you're coming up with this message, um, maybe it's not this video driver, maybe it's a different one, um, but you get this message when you're trying to open Premiere Pro, uh, 2020. Um, I haven't found any videos, I'll, whatever, okay, I'll just get into it and be fast, okay. So, the problem is the video driver and that's going to be as easy as going into device manager I just right clicked by the way and then and then uh, display adapters and then whatever your driver is hit update driver browse whatever that was and you and obviously that's the same one as that one and that's the one that Premiere Pro doesn't like for some reason. So select that one, next. That's the basic driver. This is Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. That's, it's kind of a universal thing that I'm pretty sure all Microsoft uh, or, or Windows computers just kind of have, and it's relatively universal. Um, so I'm going to close this and then open it again. Because obviously what happens is you end up, it, it prompts you with like, oh, you're going to lose all this data and stuff like that. And all that stuff is entirely possible. Let's see if it actually will open correctly or I have to go back. Yep, see, system issues. Close. And then reopen. My computer is actually going a little slow because I'm recording and I'm using a laptop. I'm getting a computer soon. Don't worry about that. The new Premiere Pro I'm actually like kind of excited about, by the way, just in general. Like the, all the new features. I've seen a few videos about it. It's very interesting. And here you go. You don't have the, uh, the problems. Uh, before, I had a bunch of problems with like... Um, you know, connect, uh, connecting to, like, using different effects and stuff like that, and I couldn't use my uh, Adobe fonts, so that was a big issue. Anyway, I hoped you enjoyed that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm probably not even going to edit this. Anyway, thank you.